Okay guys, welcome to this uh, free tutorial brought to you by Mojo Mojo. Okay, so in this uh, lesson what I want to do is I want to talk to you about the Curves Helper um, script that we can run. Now you can find it, um, I've actually put a link on there so you can download it, but um, a link to this so you can download this Curves Helper zip. Now it does work in ZBrush 2020, so once you've downloaded that and extracted that to your desktop, I'll tell you where to put it inside of ZBrush 2020. And in fact, it's the same place in 2019, 2018 as well. So here it is on my desktop. Um, I just extracted it. It's just a .zsc file. So if you open up your installation folder where you've downloaded or uh, where you've installed ZBrush, you're going to find that inside of that folder, you've got ZBrush 2020. Then you're going to go to Startup, which is here. And then straight away, you're going to go into the Z Plugin 64. Now all you need to do with this one, you've got your plugins in here already, all you need to do with this one is just get it and drop it inside here. And I've already got it in here, so there it is there, you can see it's in there. Uh, at this point you can get rid of this or keep it safe somewhere. Uh, once you close the folder and you started up ZBrush. Okay, ZBrush has started. So inside my Z scripts down here, if I look under Z plugin, sorry, you're going to find in there you've now got a plugin called Z curves helper and you have copy z sphere chain and create curve so what we're going to do is we're basically going to create a z sphere chain and we're going to use that actual z sphere chain that we can move and manipulate and we're going to then create a curve from that now there are other ways of doing it we could turn a um, we could turn it into poly groups and run a curve along the edge there but this is just a really nice quick easy way of doing it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come straight into the tools and I'm going to go to Z sphere and I'm going to drag that out on the canvas and go straight into edit mode. Right. Okay. So now if you've got another sub tool in here that you're working with, you can use that as the size as well. So if I had something in here, like, uh, let's just append in something like a cube. Okay. So I'm going to put that cube in there, which I'll, um, just scale down. So I'll scale it down like that and maybe make it longer like a book or something then I could jump back into my sphere go to move and I can move this around and I could actually scale this to the right size I need it to be in relationship to the model so if I go here move this down here now if I'm back in draw mode by the way quick shortcut between here is Q to go to draw mode W for move, scale is E and rotate is R. Okay, so if you jump into Q, to Q, you're going to draw mode, you can start adding chains. Now, what I like to do is add a chain, then go to move, pressing the W key, move the first chain into position where I want it to be, say the other side of the book here. Uh, this just works for me, but you know, you might, uh, you guys might not want to work this way. Okay, and then what I can do then is I can go back to Q mode and I can add one here. Now, by the way, if you want to make sure that this Z-sphere is the same size as this Z-sphere, what you can do, let me just go back, is you can go to draw mode and if you clicked here and dragged, you get a different size Z-sphere. Of course, you know, you could make it bigger as well. You could do this. Then you could press W and then you're going to have a bigger one. But if you want it to be the same size as the initial sphere, what you can do is you can click and drag it. Oh, make sure you're in draw mode you can drag this up and before you let go just hold the shift key and it will make it exactly the same size so if I click another one here and hold the shift key I'll get exactly the same size so just a little quick note for you I'm going to take this I'm going to drag it across here drag it into position there okay now I'm going to go back to I'm going to press Q I'm going to create another one by clicking in here. Now I can press W. I can move this up. I can press Q, press W. Oops. And I can manipulate it that way. So it makes it nice and easy. So put it in here, press W, and you can move it around. Q, W, move it around here. So you can basically get it to go over the top and around this object. So I'll press Q again and put one on the bottom. I'm going to hold Shift. And I'm going to press W here. Then I'm going to press Q again. Click this, hold Shift. 
press W, bring it over here. Where is he? Put him this side. So I've got him kind of wrapping around here, something like that. Now I can press Q, click one in there, W, wrap him over that side, and you know, manipulate him as I see fit. And that's the great thing about curves, you can manipulate them. So now if I wanna create a curve and I want um, a curve on surface brush to work with this, it's really easy for me to create a curve from this. All I need to do is make sure I'm on the initial Z sphere chain here. I'm then gonna go up to the Z scripts, to Z plugin, sorry, and I'm gonna go copy Z sphere chain. As soon as I've done that, you're gonna see Z sphere chain copied. You'll then go to the sub tool, you wanna to place the Z sphere chain on, which is this one. Okay, so I can actually turn that one off now. I can now go make sure I'm in draw mode. I can go back to Z plugin and I can go create curve. And what you're going to see is it will create a curve based from that. Now what that means is if you load any curve on surface brush, and if I go and load one in, I think I have one here, wire brush, let me just pick this one here, and I click on that, straight away I'm going to get that wire wrapping around there, of course I can change the size via this, and I've got a nice wire wrapping around this chain. Uh, let's put this square one in, something like that. Now obviously it's not a perfect thing on here, but um, that all works, which is cool. So you can create that from there. So if I go to one of these curve on surface brush, I've got this um, one here. And I think that's might be Oops. There we go. So that's how you can create that going through there. So really easy um, to use a Z sphere chain. And of course, you know, you can go back to that Z sphere chain, manipulate it, and uh, recreate a curve. So that's how you can use Curve Helper inside of ZBrush.